up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another for better, for worse vlog number 77. I got two strips for you guys today, and the first strip is from August 18th, 2006. Laura, you saw a calf being born? I helped with the delivery. Were there any complications? No, the mom was super restless, so we just had to make sure the baby was safe. That must have been awesome. It was, April. Giving birth is nature's most amazing miracle. You're telling me you took 32 hours to show up and you decided to come feet first. Wow. <laughs> In other words, she was a very long delivery and she was breech. Wow, Laura. Nice thing to hear for, for your younger cousin to hear. I, I, what I found so funny is that, I mean, yes, okay, Laura does look older than April to a degree, but back when Elizabeth was a kid and Michael, like, they looked so close to the same age, but I think Laura was meant to be older, maybe at least than Elizabeth. I don't know. Like, it's funny how Laura looks so young for her age. Like, I don't know how old she's meant to be, like, in general in the strip. But, yeah, what a thing for your mother to say. But her mother is older looking, so maybe she's in her 20s. Mid-20s, I'd say, maybe. But it's, it's funny now how I know some of the minor birthing details, like what breach is, which is when you're born feet first instead of head first, which you would think, uh, some people would think, what, but is that not wrong? I mean, can't the baby come out? Like, with the head, I think it's supposed to make it easier or something. Like, I don't know why. Maybe the breathe? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe they get stuck that way. And it, it, yes, I think they get stuck if they're feet first. And that means that it would take longer for the baby to get their first breath. So, it might be a little more dangerous. But it's, I just know what the term is, breach, which means feet first. But wow, miracle, the great basic miracle. In other words, she was a miracle. Well, technically that is true because a lot of things could go wrong with breech babies. So, miracle that she's there today. Final strip is from May 9th, 1995. Want to go out, Edgar? Tell me you want to go out. Speak, boy. Mom, why don't you just open the door? Because I want him to indicate what he wants without scratching the door. I want him to let us know in another way he wants to go outside. Oh, well, I guess having an accident on the floor is another way he wants to go outside. That's the thing with Edgar. He is so unique in a way. I mean, so is Farley in some ways, but he has his personality to him that he would just scratch, 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 not bark. You know, dogs, like my dog will bark when she wants out. She'll bark really loud, right? And if you ignore her, well, that's, that's the thing on you or me by some chances, right? She doesn't, she, well, she does kind of scratch, just not hard. She'll go, if she, if you ignore her too long, she might scratch a little bit, too, if you're downstairs. But she does also bark to indicate she wants out. She doesn't exclusively scratch. Now, as we probably seen in another strip, I think I remember showing you guys, Edgar ended up ringing the doorbell to get out. So, he finds ringing the doorbell easier than... Dead barking. Huh? You would think that, like, he maybe barking is too unne underneath him, underneath him. You know, maybe he's just too good to bark. He, uh, he wants to do things another way, like his own way. I just find it funny, like, like, my dog isn't bad with barking to go out. Sometimes she doesn't shut up, right? Sometimes you could just let her in and ten minutes later she wants back out and then I gotta wish she would scratch, you know? The only time she'll really scratch hard is if we have the door shut and she might try to, like, you know, she, it's harder, she scratches more to get in than she does to get out because it's hard to hear her outside for some reason, like... 
It is confusing, right? She could just ruin. We have a a fly, not a fly net, but a, a door where you know we could leave it open. And it'll catch the flies, and she could just go in. Which is why my aunt doesn't like me to close the door while that's up when she's out because she she's already put holes in it. <laughs> so, oops. Sometimes with dogs, you gotta be really careful. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.